Good morning, sports fans. You're in the cheap seats. 96.3 WLCN Online, streaming live on the web 24-7 at WLCNOnline.com. Good morning, I'm Scott Kirby, broadcasting live from downtown Emden for the second annual ALS walk run. Uh, right outside the Stagger Inn, a beautiful Saturday morning. The race just started. It's about three minutes uh, uh, gone by in the, the uh, 5K race or walk or whatever it is. A lot of people will be walking it, and uh, a couple individuals will be sprinting it, and they'll probably be finishing up here in the next uh, seven, eight minutes. So we'll look forward to that. We're right by the finish line. I'm flying solo today. Uh, we will have Josh Komnick in uh, as soon as he gets done running. He told me it'd be about a half hour or so when he uh, finishes. I told me he has 20 minutes. So we'll see. Uh, we'll give you an update on that. Uh, a lot of things going on in sports today. You Cub, uh, Cub fans have something to cheer about again. The Cubs uh, beat the Cardinals last night 7-0. I think that's about the only team that the Cubs were able to, to beat. Uh, Cincinnati was just in town. Uh, to finish up a three-game sweep of the Cubs, and now the Cardinals are at uh, Wrigley. Cubs take that first game seven to nothing last night. Uh, we'll talk a little bit uh, more about that later with Josh as soon as he sets in. Uh, around the league in baseball, the National League, the Atlanta Braves continue uh, their strong run here. They won last night with a walk-off by one of the Upton brothers, I do believe. So they're 15 and a half up on Washington and uh, they just keep moving up and up. Atlanta's got that division pretty much tied up. And then uh, St. Louis, you know, uh, just got done with the series in Pittsburgh. Uh, they took two out of three there, I do believe. But losing to the Cubs last night drops them down in a tie with Cincinnati. Three games back, both uh, Cincinnati and St. Louis behind Pittsburgh. Uh, Pittsburgh with a 72 and 49 record and you know we've talked about it week in week out when are they going to slow down when are they going to hit their you know their uh, their downslide but it just doesn't seem like that's going to happen this year uh, Pittsburgh with a strong team some strong uh, pitching uh, good defense and timely hitting so Pittsburgh still on the rise three games up on Cincinnati and St. Louis Cubbies are 19 in the back uh, Pretty much of a wash of a season, but uh, getting some young kids in there playing right now. Uh, some kids I've never even heard of. Uh, the pitcher last night for the Cubs. I got to look it up. I don't even know his name. Jake Ariata uh, brought him back up against the Cardinals last night and pitched a heck of a game. You know, anytime you can shut out the Cardinals, that's uh, that's you know pretty big accomplishment because they do have some hitting and they are missing Molina. Uh, I think they're going to have him back here. Shortly, uh, he is the leader on that team, so maybe he'll come back and provide a spark. Uh, I'd have all you Cardinal fans call in right now, but we have a little bit of technical difficulties here. It, uh, we are outside. Uh, I don't know if they little Wi-Fi is not able to connect, but uh, we are having some issues here. So if you lose us, stay you know stay with us. We'll get it back. Jim, he's uh, he's working hard over here trying to keep us. Uh, with a good connection so we can uh, stay on air. But uh, in the West Division, in the National League, the Los Angeles Dodgers are six and a half up on Arizona. And Colorado in third, uh, 12 games back. Over the American League, Boston, they're only one game up on Tampa Bay, five and a half up on Baltimore and New York Yankees, seven and a half back. And Alfonso Soriano, uh, who the Cubs traded to the Yankees uh, two or three weeks ago, just tearing it up for the Yankees. He's a one-man show over there. Had another home run last night. Uh, and, you know, that's a good pickup for the Yankees, but nobody else is contributing either. So uh, Yankees are falling, and they're falling quick. Uh, they made some moves there right before the trade deadline to try to stay in race with that wild card, but uh, they are quickly, quickly falling back. And... Uh, getting out of contention for that uh, second wild card spot which is new to baseball this year uh, went from one wild card team to two so could be interesting central division the detroit tigers uh five and a half up on cleveland the cleveland Indi or three and a half well, i'm five and a half that's right uh cleveland indians uh 
playing some good ball right now. Uh, I don't think they were expected to finish in the top three this year, but right now they're setting in second, five and a half games behind Detroit. Uh, the White Sox, 23 and a half back, and uh, it's uh, season's over for them as well. You know, any baseball fans in Chicago, uh, both north and south side, uh, baseball season's over. But the Bears are picking it up. We'll talk some uh, Bears later uh, after our break. Down in the West Division, Texas Rangers take over first place. They're a game up on Oakland. And Seattle, they're 13 and a half back. So it's going to be a race between the Rangers and the Oakland A's. Some of the games going on today, uh, the Yankees are at Boston. Colorado, an inner, you know, a uh, cross-league match, American League, National League. The Colorado Rockies are at Baltimore. Uh, Kansas City at Detroit. The White Sox are at Minnesota Twins. Toronto at Tampa Bay, Seattle at Texas, Cleveland at Oakland, Houston at LA. Over in the National League, some of the games going on today. Arizona at Pittsburgh, that'd be a good game right there. Both teams fighting to stay atop of their uh, respective divisions. Uh, Cahill going against Lockie. Lockie 9 and 3 for the Pittsburgh Pirates uh, on the season. That game's at 305. And the game that we're all interested in today, all you Cub fans, Cardinal fans, St. Louis at Chicago. We got uh, Kelly. He's three and three against Travis Wood. A he's seven and nine. That's a 305 start, and I'm sure that's going to be uh, the Fox game of the week on uh, Channel 55. There. Uh, then we got the Dodgers at Philadelphia. Uh, speaking of Philadelphia, they just fired their. Their manager, Jerry Manuel, and the legendary Cub second baseman, Ryan Sandberg, is taking over for him. Uh, Ryan, he was in the uh, Cubs farm system for a while. I know he coached over at Peoria for the Peoria Cheese for a couple years. Uh, some people believe that he was going to be the next in line for that Cub position uh, as manager, but uh, that didn't work. So he moved on and he uh, went back to where he started. I don't know if uh, any of you guys know that, but uh, Ryan Sandberg started out his uh, career. He was drafted by the Phillies, I do believe, and then traded to the Cubs. So Ryan Sandberg's taken over as the manager for the Philadelphia Phillies. It didn't fare too well for him last night in his uh, first game. They lost 4-0, to but uh, he's uh, been wanting to get back in the league for quite some time. Now he's there. Uh, you know, he's a fiery manager. He knows the game. He knows it inside and out. So hopefully Ryan can, uh, you know, pick up and uh, lead the Phillies to, you know, a solid finish of the season. I'd rather see him in a Cubs uniform, but uh, that, didn't, that didn't happen. So he's with the Phillies, so good luck to him. Cincinnati out Milwaukee. That's Latos against uh, Gallardo. That's a 6-10 start. Cardinal fans will be keeping an eye on that one. And the San Francisco Giants at Miami. And the Washington Nationals at Atlanta. And the Mets at San Diego. So that's your lineup for today. We are here at uh, the second annual ALS walk run outside the Stagger Inn, downtown Emden. A lot of people out here. The racers have been running for about 11 minutes and 20 seconds. Uh, can't think of his name right now, but he should be uh, crossing the line here for too long. We're going to take a commercial break right now. We'll be back. Uh, we're going to try to get uh, somebody on here with us. Uh, Neil, he was one of the owners here at Stagger Inn. So we'll take a quick commercial timeout. You're in the cheap seats, 96.3 WLCNOnline.com. Good morning and welcome back to the Cheap Seats. Scott Kirby along with Jim Ash sitting hey. in with me this morning. Well, I know Josh is uh, out there on the, the trail. Should be popping in here pretty soon, so I thought I'd fill in until Josh gets here. I appreciate that. I'm sure the listeners are tired of just hearing my single <laughs> no, voice. you're doing just fine. A little interaction doesn't hurt anything. Uh, we are live downtown Emden for the second annual ALS walk run. Uh, you know, it's just talked to a guy, said we have 400, 400 participants, and here comes John Davis, a Lincoln grad, graduate, uh, sprinting down the finish line with uh, 1744. He is a cross-country runner, participated in state 
the past uh, you know two or three years. Uh, he, he makes it look easy, and I don't see Jackson Johnson. So John maybe, Davis, uh, Lincoln grad. Maybe uh, there he is, right behind him. There goes Jackson Johnson, the first two to cross the line, and we still are waiting on a Josh Comnick sighting. That's right. We might be here a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, I might be here a while until we're over at ten. He, he's got. Uh, let's see. He's got about 12 minutes to show up. He said he'd have it done in a half hour, ah, okay. which to me, that's pretty good because it would take me probably half a day. Uh, once again, we are downtown Emden right outside the Stagger Inn. Uh, they will have a DJ here from 1130 to 3.30, DJ Holly Payne Moore. She will be here live. And they're going to have a double elimination bags tournament at 2. Uh, some of the specials going on today, they've got a... Uh, dinner specials they got a fresh grilled mahi mahi and the bad manners band will be here live from nine to one ice cold 16 ounce drafts are always two bucks all day every day more information on everything at the stagger Inn bar and family friendly grill in downtown emden has to offer tuesday through sunday phone 217-376-3185 and become a fan on facebook at stagger Inn. There you go. Yeah, that was a mouthful right there. <laughs> Ever had mahi mahi before? I have. It's pretty That's, good. Is it really? Yeah, yeah, it's like chicken a, or what? It's uh, well, it's a fish. And, right. Uh, <laughs> I guess everything tastes like chicken. No, it's pretty good uh, if you cook it right. It's okay. usually baked. Uh, it's uh, it's also called I think a dolphin fish. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't have fish very often, but uh, you know when I go out to restaurants, I'll order it every once in a while. All right. Uh, we were mentioned earlier, 400 uh, participants running walking today. Uh, don't know if that's up or down from last year, but from the looks of it, uh, it brings a pretty good crowd and uh, looks like a pretty successful fundraiser. I hope so. I know this they had it last year, and it's, it's growing even more this year. Uh, a lot of folks here, you know, uh, they have, you mentioned earlier about the events all go all throughout the day, the bags tournament, all the, the great food. So it's a worthy cause, and uh, I'm sure they're going to be doing this for many, many years to come. Absolutely. Uh, we did mention it is only the second annual, so they're, I'm sure they're probably still working out some kinks right, and yeah. ironing out some things. And the, the finish line is there. I don't remember seeing this last year. Now, maybe it was, but I was still busy. I didn't notice it, but I, the finish line, they got a, a counter, the, the time. It shows right now it's 20 minutes and 25 seconds and counting how long it's been since they took off. Now I was noticing now I was talking to Josh before the race and he had like a little magnetic strip on the back of his number. Uh -huh. So I'm, I'm assuming once they cross that finish line that records their time. I see. So here comes uh, Hey Joe, here, why here comes you turn it Bird. around and catch these runners? Here comes Bird, that's Farmer. Brandon Farmer finishes third. I don't know that guy, he's fourth. <laughs> <laughs> All Still right. no common exciting. Uh, he is running with his wife, Vanessa, today. So I don't know if they keep it competitive, maybe just run beside each other. But I have my money on her. Starting to file in now. Yeah. Now the uh, the, the favorite uh, he must, must not be here. or Yeah, he finished right oh. behind uh, oh, I didn't see uh, him. Davis, okay. John Davis. Yeah, John Davis. So he finished second. Yeah, he finished second. Uh -huh. John Davis, a uh, Lincoln grad, grad from last year, uh, he finished first. I know he's uh, he participated in state and cross country and track. Uh, he's a long distance runner. So I bet they had some sort of battle uh, back. You know, who knows how long they've been? Yeah, neck I, and neck I don't know. And yeah, it's a good race. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty impressive. And if you can't get pumped up or run to this, they got a little Rocky playing in the background. <laughs> That'll get you going. That get That's the right. blood flowing. Let's get back on the topic here, Jim. Right. Uh, we'll talk a little bit of football. Right. Uh, something I do want to announce, and pr we're, we're promoting it this week, is our uh, the Cheap Seas Fancy Football right. uh, Draft Bash. Uh, I'd like to thank Logan Lane's Family Fun Center. Uh, the draft will be out there August 31st. Uh, cheap Seats will be there 9 to 10. Draft's going to take place 11 to 1. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to sign up, go to WLCNonline.com and click on the Fancy Football Logan Lane's icon and get right. signed up. Uh, it must be 21. One here, here comes another one. So i uh, really promoting that, and I would also like to thank Jake's Furnishings. Uh, they're donating a recliner to win. Right. And then P&M P and, P and Communications has a flat screen TV. Right, big screen. It's, uh, I think, a 32-inch, so wow. it's a nice... Nice screen. You know, Jim, when we first talked about doing this, you know, I'm thinking our prize basket includes some uh, 
maybe some gift certificates, right. you know, stuff like that. But for these guys to step mm -hmm. up and donate this type of uh, prize, it, it's just phenomenal. That's, that's awesome, and I really do thank them. You know, that's, you know, who wouldn't want to win a recliner right. or a flat screen it's, TV? It's the perfect prize for right. a football fantasy player. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> you can watch their football right there. And it's free. You right. Sign up, There's it's no free. cost to enter. Yeah. We've and got a few spots open, so if you're thinking about it, you better get in a hurry because uh, they'll fill up pretty fast. Yeah. Uh, fantasy football is something you heard about but not sure about it. Oh, there goes Vanessa. Yeah. Vanessa, she crosses. No, no, no comments hiding. Boy, she's going to rub that in. And if she doesn't, we will. To Get Josh there, Joe, when he comes to crosshair. <laughs> well, here comes one. Sprinting across. Man, we might have to participate in this next year, Joe. <laughs> you want to do it? You can carry the camera, and I'll wear the mic, and we'll run it. <laughs> I, I would be the walk person. <laughs> yeah. I walk, man. Yeah. I'm going to run. Yep, absolutely. But, uh, yeah, if anybody interested in... if fancy football and if you've never did one or if you like to see how it goes right they're having specials all day at the Boyne alley uh 50 cent wings uh ten dollar domestic buckets so get on out there and you know it's going to be a good time and the nice thing about the bowling alley logan lanes is if you uh not necessarily a bears fan or maybe you're not a packers fan or a rams fan if you maybe your team is the cincinnati Bengals, whatever they've got eight i believe eight direct tv packages yeah so that allows you to get just about any game you want to get. Yeah, they uh, talk to Sean. They get every game. Right. They've got uh, Steeler fans out there religiously every Sunday uh, watching those games. And, you know, that direct TV package, football package, can get pretty expensive. So, you know, save right. your money. Get on out to the bowling alley and watch them. Exactly. Now they're starting to file in pretty good here, Jim. Uh, yeah. 400 runners. So we've probably had about 20 so far yep. check in. So, yep, how many good. meters was this? Uh, it's five, five K. So I five think K. that's a little over three and a half miles All or right. something. Well, he's did he ran it twice? <laughs> Are you kidding me? No way. Well, no, he's, probably, he's probably a marathon he, runner. Well, I don't know. This Maybe, is nothing well, to him. He might be just cooling down. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what we're gonna say, and we're gonna stick to it. Yeah, now they're really starting to file through, and once again, we're waiting on Comnick. He should be rolling in here in the next uh, 45 minutes. Let's see what time we got. We need to, uh, it's only 926. So uh, Bears played for Thursday night, Jim. Did you get to catch saw, any of that I game? saw the first quarter or so. Uh, I don't know what time they took out the starters, but that's about the time I stopped watching them. Uh, yeah, there's, they're a work in progress because of the new system, the new coach. It's going to take a while. It might take uh, part of the regular season before they finally get it all together. The the parts are in place, I, I think. Yeah. Uh, I'm encouraged about some of the younger players. Um, I think, at you know, when it's all said and done, it's going to be uh, good for the team. Uh, this, you know, Trestman's going to be good, and, and uh, I think they're going to do well this, this season. Uh, I was more concerned, really, about the, the defense. Uh, losing Erlocker and uh, this kid from uh, Florida, is it? Bostic. Bostic. Well, he's looking pretty good, isn't he? Does, does look pretty good uh, for just a young and and the the guy they drafted number one, uh, Long, who's really never played a lot of football. Yeah, he's uh, he only started five games at Oregon. And he looks pretty good. Yeah, him and uh, the Mills, both rookies. They put him on the right side of the line, and I tell you what. You know, they held their own, and, you know, they took that, and they ran with it. And, you know, so that's pretty encouraging uh, to see them do that. Wow, those girls are sprinting. They must have saved their energy. I would too. like to see Jay Cutler uh, look at different receivers sometimes instead of looking at Marshall on almost every play. Right. And, you know, I don't know what uh, the Bears are showing as far as right. plays because right now it looks awful vanilla. It looks pretty yeah. pretty plain. Right. So I don't know if Tressman's not that wanting to show his hand. That might be design yeah, to do it this way. They ran the ball a lot Thursday and they mm -hmm. were successful doing it. Right. I guess, you know, stick with something that's working. Uh, but uh, Cutler in there still kind of trying to figure it out. Had to touch down to Marshall. Also threw a pick. But uh, a lot of that's forced, I think, because he knows he's only playing a uh, two or three series, so right. he's trying to make the best of something, which, you know, the regular season comes, maybe he doesn't, doesn't try to force some of those throws. Right. So, you know, it's it's so hard to predict preseason. Hey, there's Comnick there right there, that a boy. 
Yeah, he just says it. Well, he uh, he said 30 minutes, and it was 27:45. So All right. he must have uh, picked it up a little well, bit. Let's see if he's out of breath when he gets over here. Saw a lot of little kids though beat him. <laughs> I, I did too. I did see some kids, like 12 and 13. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if they maybe they gave them a head start. Maybe they didn't run quite as right. Uh -huh. But if they did, well, his boy. wife beat him. So yeah, we wow. <laughs> she beat him by a couple minutes. Yeah. So. So there goes uh, Jim Grimaldi. He's getting ready well, to cross. Well, you know, Jim Grimaldi rode his bike here. Really? He rode his bike. It's, in fact, it's right behind us. He rode his bike from Lincoln, Illinois to Emden, and then, and then he ran in a 5K run. And how's he going to get home? He's got to ride his bike That's home right. unless he finds well, he somebody some sort up. of prize uh, just for doing that. Uh, well, well, maybe we can get him uh, some kind of gift certificate. I mean, how many miles is it from uh, Lincoln to uh, Emden? Uh, 12 or I'm, I don't know. Yeah, I'm this is your first time in Emden. I've never right? been to You've Emden. never been no. here before. And I didn't get lost. <laughs> that is actually pretty easy. And, you know, we are. There hey, he there he is. Josh Komnick grabs a couple of balls of water. We'll give him a little bit. Uh, give him a breather and I'll breather. sit out of here and uh, let yeah. Josh take over. Well, let's, uh, let's take another commercial break. Uh, we'll be back. Josh Komnick will be setting in. Jim, thanks for yeah, setting yeah, in with yeah, me. Yeah, no problem. It makes it a little more interesting to have two guys. So stay tuned. You're in the cheap seats, 96.3 WLCNOnline.com.